Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to find the structure is statically determinate or not. And also in this video, I will solve five examples. Please watch the video till the end. First of all, we have to know what are the types of supports and their support reactions. First one is roller support. These two are roller supports. And if we have roller support, we mark one vertical force component. But if the roller is in sloped plane, we will mark our reaction force perpendicular to the plane. Rocker. If we have rocker support, we mark one vertical force component. If we have hinge or pin support, we mark two force component, one vertical and other one horizontal. If we have pin connection, we mark two force component, one horizontal and one vertical. Finally, if we have fixed support, we mark three components two force components and one moment component. When all the forces in a structure can be determined strictly from the equations, the structure is referred to as statically determinate. Structures having more unknown forces than available equilibrium equations are called statically indeterminate. If there is a total of n parts and r force and moment reaction components. If R equals 3N, the structure is statically determinate. If R is larger than 3N, the structure is statically indeterminate. Let's see some examples. So this is a beam. As you see, there are two supports. This is a pin support. If we have pin support, we mark two force components. If we have roller support, we mark one vertical force components. Now, now we have to find R and N. Then we can compare this R and 3N values. Right? So what are the R? R is the force and moment reaction components. That means number of forces. So now you can count these forces. There are three forces. One, two and three. That means R equals three. N is the number of parts. As you see, there are one beam that means n equals one. Now I can find three n since n equals one, three n equals three. Now I can compare these values which are r and three n. R equals to three and 3n equals to 3 that means r equals to 3n so that means the structure is statically determinate second example in this example there are three support conditions this fixed support conditions and these two roll support conditions if we have fixed support condition we mark three components two force components and one moment component and these are roll supports we simply mark one vertical force component for each support now we can count these components 
there are three components in this fixed support and here there are two that means one two three four five r equals five n since there are one beam n equals one n equals 1 means 3 n equals 3 now I can compare r and 3 n value r equals 5 and n sorry 3 n equals 3 as you can see r is greater than 3 n that means the structure is statically indeterminate and also we can write the degree of this indeterminate structure this is the equation which we use for find degree uh, it says degree equals r minus 3n that means r equals 5 3n equals 3 5 minus 3 we can get 2 finally we can write r is greater than 3 and that means structure is statically indeterminate and statically indeterminate to the second degree so I got this second value from this you can find degree from r minus 3 n In this example you can find two support conditions and one pin connection right uh, there is a pin support here so I mark two force components and there is a pin connection here also two force components and this is fixed support there are three force sorry there are three components two force components and one more one component now you can count all the forces r equals 3 plus 2 plus 2 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 2 7 in n equals number of parts you can see there are two parts this is the first part and this is the second part right that means n equals 2 since there are two parts in this structure now I can find 3n 3n equals since n equals 2 3n equals 3 times 2 6 now I can compare r and 3n value r equals 7 and 3n equals 6 here also r is greater than 3n that means this is structure is statically indeterminate and degree is first degree because 7 minus 6 equals 1 that means statically indeterminate to the first degree in this example you can see a frame and also you can see a loop here we call this type of problems there is a loop right if we have a loop we have to cut this loop right we have to cut this loop and divide this structure to two parts so I cut this loop and I divided this structure two parts and there are two supports I can mark uh, force components in these supports so I re-go here these are the support reactions and force components uh, 
since there is a pin support we simply mark two force components this is a rocker support we simply mark one vertical force component so you can see those force components in here and in this if we cut this frame we have to mark forces right we have to mark two forces and one moment for each this cutting point and you can see there are three components for each joint but these three values are equals to these three values but direction is opposite therefore we only consider this only one set and here also the same story there are two sets but we consider only one set because the values of these forces and moments are same the only difference is direction is opposite direction therefore we can write r value as we can now count our force value so force components or all components there are two components one two and three and we we are not going to consider these forces one two and three here three components and here three components that means there are three components here as well three plus three plus three are equals nine and n equals n is the number of parts we divided into two parts that means n equals two parts now i can write r equals 9 and n equals 2 that means 3 n equals 6 right here also 9 is greater than 6 that means r is greater than 3 n thus statically indeterminate to the third degree right this third is came from 9 minus 6 9 is the r and 6 is the 3 n right okay here's another example this is the last example in this example you can't find a loop therefore we do, don't need to cut the sections right but we have to mark force or moment components first we have roller support i simply mark one vertical force component then there's a fixed support i mark one vertical force component one horizontal force component and one moment component here also same three components and here's a pin support i mark two force components now i can count these forces there are one component there are three component here also three components in this support sorry there are two components so r equals one plus three four four plus three seven seven plus two nine and there are only one frame right we didn't cut this frame therefore n equals one now i can write 3n value and since n equals 1 3n equals 3 now i can compare r and 3n value r equals 9 3n equals 3 here also r is greater than 3n and i can write the degree here degrees equals to r minus 3n r equals to 9 and 3n equals to 3 this structure is statically indeterminate to the sixth degree
here so this is the free body diagram so this is the final answer